everybody, this is part two of the Voss 600 Dually helmet reveal. Today's video is going to be a little bit more hands-on than the last, and perhaps you're wondering, what was the last? So if you haven't seen part one, go to this place right here, watch part one, then come back to part two, and then you'll be up to speed with everything. So you may be asking, Kim, why are you wearing your gloves? Do you have like a bad manicure? No, that is not the reason. It's because it's warm out today and I don't want my sticky fingers leaving sticky fingerprints all over the visor because some guy in Connecticut is going to point that out in the comments and I thought I would save him the trouble. So, but they are kind of cool gloves. They look like blue Spider-Man gloves. In fact, I'm probably going to use them for riding, but I digress. The helmet comes like this when you order it with a clear visor, which is good if you're going to be doing, um, you know, night, night rides. You don't want to be having a smoked visor on there. But the cool thing about having uh, the, the clear visor on here, like you can order a smoked visor, which is what I will be wearing, especially during the day. But when you've got the, um, the clear visor on, this is what makes it so functional when you're, you know, driving around. It has the Voss internal visor system with one touch release, which is quite cool. So you have the ability to keep your, your uh, clear visor on for, for dusk and nighttime riding, but you also have the built-in um, visor system in place and it works quite well. I like it. Um, just on the side of the, the helmet, You've got your up and down here. This is coming, dropping it down. You've got a one touch button release and it springs back up. So that is pretty cool. In fact, this is what I was most excited about the helmet. Because when I'm wearing, especially on a cold day when it's clear out, um, my glasses, my sunglasses, because they're so close to my face, tend to fog up. Uh, this way I can have the sunglasses without having that close to my eyeball uh, reaction that causes so much grief in the winter time and it looks cool too so the Voss 600 Dually the body is made of a thermoplastic lightweight ABS alloy I have no idea what that means but the helmet does not feel like a bowling ball when it's on your head which is always a plus when you're going down the highway at 100 miles an hour but it feels good it looks good it's got a good finish on it aerodynamically it's actually quite nice now, my old helmet, anything with a visor, it doesn't matter what you're riding, if you're riding a dirt bike or it doesn't matter what the helmet, if you've got a visor on it, it is going to act like a little bit of a, a parachute, wind resistance, that sort of thing. But um, this visor is surprisingly decent. As long as there's not a whole lot of crosswind, if you're going through a lot of crosswind, it's going to buff it a little bit. But on a, a normal day, uh, it tracks quite nicely uh, in a straight line. And you, you know, you'll turn your head, you can feel it a little bit, but it doesn't want to rip your head off. So I really like that. First thing I noticed when I wore this on the highway was the nice seal that this visor makes to the helmet. It has a nice uh, rubberized uh, lining here with a little bit of a lip up here. So when you shut this, um, you don't have any of that annoying uh, whistling in your ears as you're going down the highway. So I really like that. Uh, my last helmet was quite noisy. Um, the downside to having a quiet helmet is that you hear things on your bike that you haven't heard before and you start getting paranoid that something's wrong with your bike. So I've been hearing my chain lately with this helmet on and I think something's wrong with it but it's actually just the way the chain sounds. Before I couldn't hear it as well as I do now with this, uh, with this visor system locking in so well. For ventilation you have your um, you know standard chin mount here. You've got your switch in, in the back side so it's open or closed and then on top of the helmet you have your two ports right here that you can open up close easy to do while you're riding and then you have these two channels along the top of the helmet that run all the way back and then at the back of the helmet you have two uh, ventilation holes so the your air is going to come through there and draw the hot air out of the back of your helmet and, and through the helmet so it allows your head to breathe uh, nicely and, and not get stuffy. Inside of the helmet, it's nicely padded, good, good amount of padding. It's all removable, it's all washable. 
But what I like the most here is something that I've never had in any of my other helmets. My previous helmets have all been traditionally um, the loop and, uh, and hook. So you have to fish your, your line through the hook, back through, and then pull it tight and snap it. This one is, works with a, um, a quick release um, system. And I'm doing it with one hand, which is always uncomfortable. But the nice thing is, when you are using it, you can you can leave your gloves on. Um, you don't have to take them off, take your gloves off, stuff them on the handlebars, undo your helmet, and then you know, same thing when you're putting it back on. It's all very quick. It's all very uh, easily done with your gloves on. You can uh, pre preset it with your adjustable strap here. So every time you put it on, it's exactly the way you like it. And when take when like I said, taking it off. I'm doing it one-handed. It's much easier to deal with than uh, the strap. So that's pretty cool. One little, nice little touch that they've got here is, A, there's a, a small strip of reflective material here on the top of the helmet, and also on the underside of the helmet. So it gives you um, just a little bit more um, visibility when you're out on the road. Of course, it's DOT uh, certified, so it meets or exceeds their standards. So you know you can uh, trust your, your melon to the, the Voss helmet. So that's a brief introduction to the Voss 600 Dually. Uh, you'll be seeing a lot of it now in the future as I'll be wearing it as my main um, helmet. Uh, so if you want, head over to Facebook, find the Voss page and uh, like it up and say hello and take a look at their other stuff. They have helmets that are also uh, geared to uh, street riding, um, cruisers, all sorts of things. And uh, I'm sure you'll find something there that strikes your fancy. And if not, just say hello and leave a little smiley face or something. I don't know, a winky face? Anyways, that's all. Thanks for watching and stay tuned in the, you know, the future. We've got to mount a GoPro to this somehow. So I've got some ideas and uh, we'll show you how that works out after I take it to my garage and do some mad scientist work on it or something. I don't know. Not mad, but maybe semi-upset scientist. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll talk to you later.